Hello, this is Jman240, and today I will be providing you with a full tutorial on this uh, tree farm that we have here. So, let's get right into it. So to build this farm, you will need a bunch of blocks of your own choice. I choose stone bricks. One grass block, 31 redstone dust, two redstone repeaters, two redstone torch, a redstone comparator, a lever, a pressure plate, preferably stone, uh, an observer, a dispenser, a bunch of water, soul sand, an anvil, two iron bars, three sticky pistons, and one regular piston. So, let's go ahead and get started with the redstone. So we'll need sticky pistons, pistons, levers, pressure plates, redstone, um, grass block. We'll just get the grass block out of the way just to start. That way we don't have to keep it in our inventory. So there we go. And then we'll take the other redstone components like that. So we want to build two blocks on either side, like this. One of the repeaters will be used like that. And then put some redstone dust there. Put a block down here. Then the dispenser goes here. The observer goes here, making sure that it's observing this redstone dust. And then one of the sticky pistons goes up there. So after that, we need to put some of this redstone dust up here and reach it around here, one up here, build four this way. Redstone torch goes up here. Actually, we want to build that down there. And then torch goes here dust here. The comparator goes here with that flipped on, but we'll leave it off for now. And then the repeater goes there. Yep. Um, then once that is done, let's take a look over here. Alright, let's go ahead and build that part that puts the repeater going into the sticky piston. There we go. And yep, four blocks up, and a torch goes on there. And above that torch is a block. And we'll want to build four blocks this way, and then one block out. And then just three blocks this way. And the sticky piston goes here, and the regular piston goes here. So let's go ahead and get some redstone dust running into both of these. Now you will need the iron bars going here and also on top of that. And then here's where the anvil comes in, going on top of there. And then we'll go ahead and get our signs. You'll need three of them total. So that's most of the redstone. It just uh, it notices when the tree grows. It lets the signal pass from that repeater to this redstone wire retracting both of these pistons and then this observer updates the piston and pushes it and uh, when this torch is powered it'll stop shooting bone meal so once the tree grows the bone meal will stop so let's go ahead and make the water stream you'll want to make it three blocks out from the uh, from the gla uh, grass block And then, down here is where you put your pressure plate, so we can go ahead and get rid of that. Then we connect that using sticky piston and five redstone dust. Then we just go ahead and make a tube going up. We need to make sure that we leave space for our character to be able to go under there. So let's go ahead and make this up to the layer that we don't even need that block to this layer. 
so you can use that piston as a reference of how high to build this. Uh, we actually don't want to make the tube right there. That is not where it goes. Whoops. Alright, so you want to sort of make a tube going like this. Not above the pressure plate, but one next to it. And you want to leave some space there. And build it up to the layer of the piston. You can go ahead and use that as reference to know how tall to build that. And we'll just make some walls around there so that the water doesn't flow out. And then put a block here, here, and one of your signs goes there. And then the other two signs go here and here. Yep, okay. So that'll bring us up, and I think all that's left is the water. So let's make the water there and that'll push us here and then for this tube that sort of brings you up oh wait we need some soul sand for this tube that brings you up you need to make sure that all of the blocks are source blocks because otherwise the bubble elevator will not work so if you're doing this in survival I recommend using ice because you know that sort of lets you carry a stack of water rather than just one bucket that needs to be refilled every time. So I think that that is all for the farm. Let's go ahead and test it out. So we get a sapling, place the sapling here, and then we should get some bone meal. Just put that all in our hot bar and then put that in the dispenser. Turn that on. All right, so the tree grew, these pistons retracted, and now the player would be standing here, and once they retract, they descend upon the tree, break all these blocks, and then once we break this block, it'll push us, we'll grow the tree, and uh, we'll start back up there. So let's see if that works. into the bubble stream. Yep, there we are. And now we just wait for that tree to grow. And in survival, you would just hold down the mouse button. Whoops. You'd just hold down the mouse buttons. And uh, you could just walk away from your computer, let this run, come back, and you'd have uh, an inventory full of wood. So I guess you couldn't let it run for too long, but there probably is some way that uh, you could sort of um, put the wooden hoppers, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. That would definitely be a future improvement. Um, so that was the tutorial. I hope that you like it. See you next time.